as long as this works, this will be the intro of the video. Hello guys, my name is Tim and welcome back to Astro Addict. I'm sitting here with a great view and right now I'm shooting a time lapse with the second camera. So if this time lapse looks good, I'll maybe use it in the intro of this video. So if you already saw it, it was good. Good enough at least. I also got here to take some free time and maybe try to talk about the next project that's coming up because I got two new things for my equipment, for my telescope. I got an H-alpha narrowband filter and a CLS light pollution filter. So with these two new things, I'll try to get a very cool project done. The scope is set up. I set the entire rig up and did the polar alignment. I think it went really good. I'm just taking the video from inside the garage here because it's too dark for the phone to take up any images outside, so this should do for the first part of the video, I hope. So tonight's target is the Crescent Nebula. It's kind of a spe special thing because for the first time I'm using a narrowband filter, H-alpha to be exact. So I will try to tell what this is later in the video, but let's get on the stars. Maybe we can get some cinemat cinematic filming in here. thing that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try a new technique to get my polar alignment better than ever with a tool from PhD Guiding. So let's jump on the laptop. So right now my net vision is completely gone because I was looking at the screen. But the next step is to get the polar alignment done and for this PhD has a very simple tool to get the polar line more precise. And this time I'm using the polar drift line to... Oh, yes, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna connect my guide camera and the scope first. So connect my GP Cam 2 and connect the mount. Okay, now that's done. Get away. Now that's done, and now I will start the Polar Drift Line tool, and it says right here, slew, to, slew near to the celestial pole, I already did that. I will have to select the guide, guide star, and now I have to focus my guide scope first. Okay, uh, this should be good, let's turn up the exposure time. Maybe two, three seconds to get a better look at the stars. Okay, maybe a little bit of fine tuning. And if I'm not completely mistaken, the bright star almost in the middle of the frame there is Polaris, the North Star. Although in this case, I hope it's not because this, I think it would be a problem for the drift alignment. Okay, so now we got that. I'm gonna select the guide star. It likes this one. And now, I'm press start. So what the computer is doing now 
If the scope is not correctly polar aligned, the stars are going to slowly drift out of the frame. And now with the picture, the computer can actually scan the alignment and then tell me where to move this star in the frame to get the polar alignment correct. You can see the line and the point there. And once this has settled in a neat position, I'm gonna stop this, take the overlay and move the mount. So let's just wait as this will settle down. Okay, the time is up. I've given it about 150 seconds now to settle. And I think it's in a good spot, so I'm gonna press stop. So the image is not moving anymore. And now, since we have this overlay, I'm gonna use the bolts on the Skywatch HEQ5 to get this star into this red circle. So let's just wait until I did that. Okay, now we can see that the small star is almost in the red circle. So it is said to perform this action several times. And now I'm just going to select this star here because it's more in the center of the frame. And let's run that again. Okay, now since this star's in the circle, later in the night we can see how good the auto guiding will go. Oh, come on, go away, I don't need you. And since, I, since a lot of time has passed, the target for tonight actually is slowly showing up behind the tree here, and we can get going on the Crescent Nebula. Day two now, two day after the disaster, I'd say. I tried to fix the errors I did the last time, and I think it worked out great. So let's look at this. Perfect. Perfect.